Hey everyone, I got an interesting review request on uh, Amazon and this is for some sort of Christmas light, laser light systems. So we're going to take a look at it, see how good it does, and of course tear it apart. And actually see what's inside of it. But they shipped it in a regular little box and it has really good packing. And it comes with the unit itself with two lasers. This one happens to be blue and green. They also have different combinations. I think it's like red and green and red, green, and blue. You can get all three of them, depending upon which way you want to go. Uh, it comes with a 15-foot cord. It comes with its own little power adapter, which is weather-sealed. But the connection itself, that actually goes from the unit, has two prongs, and looks like it actually has a weather sealing. So it actually plugs in. It only goes in one way. It is key. So this way you don't reverse the polarity on it. Comes with a nice remote control, um, probably good for at least 50 feet because it's not infrared, it's actually RF, and it even has a little antenna on it. And from this you can remotely control the power, um, which, LED, which lasers you actually want to do, red, green, or blue. In this case I have green or blue, I can turn on or off. Flash, uh, timer reset, the speed, and they also give you four time options on here for each night. If you want it to be on for two hours, four hours, six hours, or eight hours, and then afterwards it just shuts itself off. So this way you don't have them running all night at three o'clock in the morning when no one's paying attention to your house during Christmas, hopefully. Also comes with a metal stake with an Allen screw, which actually screws on to this main piece right here. And they, of course, give you the Allen key itself. And everything is made out of, it feels like a durable aluminum, so it's not plastic. It will actually hold up a little bit more to the elements. They say this is IP65 rated, which basically means it can handle rain, regular rain, a little bit of splashing here and there. Keeps all the dust out of it. We're going to open it up in a little bit and see if it's actually really sealed. I can tell right now, the four screw holes, they have like plastic plugs into it to keep the water out of it. Plus, this is a weatherproof grommet that the wire is actually going through. So. Without opening it, I have to say yes, it is actually IP65 rated. The uh, power brick is a switching adapter, so it's nice and small. And it's rated for an output of 12 volts and 1 amp. So this thing with the lasers maybe pulls 12 watts at max. So I'm going to plug that one in. And we're going to plug this on in. Once I get the orientation correct. And apparently the power is right up. Let's screw this on so this way it's sealed and doesn't come on out. Yeah, not bad. So, see if I can... You can see the basic projection right there. We're going to take it outside and show it in the dark in a little bit. But, there's that. Off and on. And I don't even have the antenna extended, so... But, there's off and on. And, as you can tell, this is the blue and green version that they sent me. Um, I can have just blue, I can have just green, or I get both colors again. You can get flashing, and I believe you can control the flashing speed as well. If I go faster or slower. No, that's just a spin. Do I hit flash faster? Okay, hit the flash button again and it'll flash faster. Even faster. And stop flash. Okay, so there's three settings for the flash. You just keep hitting the flash button. Timer reset, I'm sure that's just hitting two hours. The only thing is, when you click two hours, four hours, six hours, it doesn't give you any confirmation, like a quick blink saying, hey, I got the command, which would have been nice. So I'm going to have to assume that it takes it. I'm not going to sit around here for two hours and see if it shuts off. But that would be a nice feature if they just add it in, maybe for the next version, that it gives you like a confirmation piece saying, hey, I got two hours. Other than that, it works really good. There's a few different speed settings on this, and you'll find that right in the middle of the remote control. Right now, they're static. They're not doing anything. There's the first setting, if you can even see it. They are moving, believe it or not. It's just really slow. There's second. There's third, which is fairly fast. And there's the high speed. That's really, well, that's fast for what it does. It'll definitely, um, Give you vertigo.
Now this device is touted basically to be used for Christmas lights instead of hanging up a bunch of lights like if you're going up top of your gutter to hang icicle lights or around your bushes. It makes it a lot easier and a lot safer because you don't have to climb a ladder. You just set this out in front of your yard. But you can also use it for DJing, uh, interior use as long as it's not directly shining in someone's eye because this is rated for about 5 milliwatts on each one on each little dot. Now each laser itself internally, which we're going to get to when we open this, supposedly, I forget which one, I have to look online real quick, either the blue or green, I think it's the blue, is rated for 100 milliwatts. That you definitely do not want to shine in your eye or have reflected in a concentrated beam like that. That will do damage. 5 milliwatts is basically the equivalency of those little cheapo $1 pen lights, and that's what this projects out once it breaks that beam into that, breaks the beam into a big giant um, moving cascade of little dots. So it's fairly benign at that point. If you get shine in your eye, it's not going to hurt you really. But if you ever open this and be careful, and you better know what you're doing with lasers, do not look directly into it because then you're going to have a concentrated beam of laser light and it's going to hurt your eyes. And as for noise, there is none. I can hear a little tiny motor going in there, but we're talking like I can't even hear it from this far away. It's that quiet. It's not like a DJ set, which gets really loud. So this is the front of the unit. You basically have your two holes for your two laser emitters, and that's all it is. It's otherwise sealed, and you can see it messing with the uh, camera as the uh, beam keeps on going over it. And you can even use it indoors. Kids really like it. <gasps> What's that? Lights? Yes, lights. Yeah, it's dark and my camera kind of sucks in the dark, but we're going to give this a shot anyway. I was going to go and test the light out back of my apartment, but I'm like, you know what? I got to go on the road anyway, so I'm sitting at my hotel with a bunch of other trucks. There's a reefer running two, door, two trucks down for me, so sorry if it's a little noisy, but we're going to go ahead and give this a shot and see what it actually looks like. We're in twilight right now. The camera's kind of magnifying the light a little bit more. That's the last little bit of light that there is out there. But this should give us a pretty good chance to see what it looks like. So let's turn the camera around and turn the unit on using the remote control. There we go. And there's the unit inside the cab. And if we look outside, Yeah, my camera's sort of picking it up, but it's out of focus. Hold on. Let me turn the autofocus back on, and hopefully it'll focus a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. You can see it all down the side, and you can even see it on that back reefer, all the way back there, that dry van. Now, if we turn around and go towards the um, actual hotel. Yeah, you can see them right on the hotel itself. The green definitely goes farther than the blue. I'll definitely give you that, but then again, your eye responds better to the green light than blue light and also don't forget I have sodium fluorescent lights here lighting this whole area up which is screwing with it I got the one right in the center of the screen I got that one over there it's messing with it and the closest one is that orange looking sodium fluorescent plus a few more in the background so you gotta take that into account it probably could get brighter I think I got a few more feet here there we go Let's see if I can stretch it around here but you can see it all over there you go all over the ground where it's actually dark it shows up beautifully that's road close signs reflecting like crazy on it and the front of the truck so anything if you put this within about 25 feet of your house and put it on your house it's going to look absolutely wonderful. Uh, if you're trying to do 150 feet, even without sodium fluorescent, you're probably going to lose the blue at that point. So I'll keep it at like 15 to 25 feet away from your house, and it'll look absolutely beautifully. That's a little close. Okay, so let's see if we can get the unit open now. I'm going to take off the uh, support real quick, which is also using the included Allen wrench key. 
see if we can get these little plastic plugs out of the way that are supposedly protecting it. Oop, there we go. Yep, it's a regular Phillips head underneath of it. So let me get this unscrewed and opened up. Okay, as you can see, the uh, screws themselves, they are machine screws. They are Phillips head, but they are very soft. I almost, I end up stripping this one out, just trying to get it off. So I end up drawing the head off. This way I can get it open. So first inspection, the whole thing comes apart. You just got the reflectors or whatever inside there. And this is an empty can. Now inside here, first thing I notice, where's my screwdriver? Right here, there is a seal, which definitely helps with the sealing. Although mine will never seal again because I had to that, get that screw out. So, but let's see here. We have the color wheel itself. This is what actually does the designs, the actual little dots and everything. And we're gonna plug it in here in a second. See what we got here. Cause this is running on 12 volts. Okay, this is your antenna right here. This is your antenna receive, this little coil. It runs on over, so this is an antenna board. This is your main controller, and I'd have to say the soldering is really good. It's all surface mount, and you got your two lasers. Apparently, whichever one this is, right over here, I think it's the red one, is definitely more powerful because it's actually heat sink itself. Um, the other one is in a metal tube as well, holding it, but it doesn't have the extra cooling fins. So let's put some power to this and actually see it in operation. There we go. Okay, it's a green laser that actually has the extra heat sinking on the actual laser diode itself here. So it's not doing anything right now. Let's tell it to spin. Okay, apparently this thing spins really slow. There must be a lot of intricate DK detail inside of this. And I'm trying not to directly look into these beams because they're extremely bright. The blue, as you can tell, if you can look on the camera itself, has a bit of an elongated view on it, whereas the green is just a pure dot. Now this thing, honestly, um, it's definitely a stepper motor with how many wires it has on it, so it's stepping very, very slow and has a lot of precision. Honestly, at high speed, I would guess this does maybe one revolution per minute. So there's a lot of information for all the little dots stored in that little disc that it's going from. That's interesting. It says the blue laser is 100 milliwatts and the green laser is only 30 milliwatts. But the green one is the one that has the heat sinking on it. But then again, I think they're both connected. Yeah, they are both connected. I guess the heat sink just acts as both of them. But the blue one is 100 milliwatts. I got the unit on. You can start seeing the beams with it being open like this. Let me uh, put a little more vape onto it so this way we can see the uh, laser beams a little bit better. Yeah, it definitely shoots out a lot. Isn't that freaking cool looking? The green is definitely more powerful than the blue. Let me do it one more time. Yeah, the blue definitely spreads out a lot more, whereas the green is a lot more focused light. And I just tried on a piece of black plastic, since black absorbs light a lot better. Um, supposedly the blue is 100 milliwatts, and the green is 30 milliwatt output in this beam mount. And I'm trying to shield my face right now, so I don't blind myself. But uh, on black, it'll absorb more. The blue, even though it's 100 milliwatts, is not going to light a match. It's not going to even heat up anything black whatsoever it's not focused enough. It has this nice long line. So it's not f anyone who wants to open this up and try to get a burning laser, nope, not gonna happen, sorry. But after opening it up and looking at the build quality, I definitely have to say this is really well built and it will definitely last a long time. As long as it stays sealed, which I don't see why it wouldn't stay sealed, because just even this uh, wire input on the back of it is a weather sealed grommet. So all the power coming in is sealed and you got this main seal right here the only other place where water can get in is right through these two holes and it looks like it has two pieces of plastic inside of here if you can see around the corner of the big piece of plastic there is some glue you can see it's sealed and then the two little windows for each laser 
also have little pieces of glue in there as well. So it should stay sealed nicely and this will give many years worth of good use. Check down in the description. The seller sells this either on Amazon, which you can get for normal price, or if you go to their main manufacturer website, which will also be down in the um, description, they're offering a $10 off any of their laser products that they have on there. So there's a coupon code down in the description to get $10 off of these units. That's it for now. That was fun. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below.